right, in this video presentation, I'd like to demonstrate to you tooling and techniques that I've developed over the years for the purpose of forging mainly animal heads. That's my interest. So the most critical thing about getting a good looking head is pre-shape. The pre-shape for these different heads are the same but subtly different. We've got the bear, three-sided taper, inch and an eighth long, approximately half inch cross section on the snout. Now we're gonna do the bear's head, the pre-shape for the bear's head, inch and an eighth long, down to a cross section on the end of the snout, approximately half inch. Now with what will be the top of the head against the face of the anvil, two thirds of the taper onto the face of the anvil, half face blows. This is gonna isolate the mass for the snout, create the brow line and leave the forehead. We're going to come up onto the corners, heavy chamfers. Shoulder to shoulder blows. Further isolate that snout. Create a cheek line. Little bit of taper on the snout. I want the top of that snout crowned. So now we're moving to the vise. I'm using a approximately a quarter inch fuller, placing it at the bridge of the snout, half above the bridge of the snout, half below. Now proportionately, this fuller is a little smaller than the fuller I would use on the wolf or the cougar because the bear has smaller eyes proportionately. And his sight is his poorest sense. He smells with his knee. Smell is his keenest sense. Big, big nose, little eyes. So I just used a three sixteenths inch fuller to create a line up the center of the forehead and fanned it out a little bit. Now I'm going to isolate the mass for the ears, rounded ears, so I'm going to 
knock the corners off of this square stock, radius them up a bit, using the eighth inch fuller, diagonally across the corner, I'm using the side set, push that material back. And I'm going to start his beard or sideburns. The bear doesn't really have a beard, but where the facial hair meets the next neck hair, there's a little bit of a cowlick there. So. I don't have to get that on. So I've got those sideburns. Now I'm going to follow my bottom chamfer line up to almost the bottom of the chin. Just a little shy of the point of the chin. The next one, why don't you come over here? Then I'm using an eighth inch fuller to texture that sideburns and beard. We've got the beard and the sideburns formed. Now we're going to finish off the ears. Pointed punch right at the base. Eighth inch fuller. Texture the inside.
And I'm taking a round bob punch. Open up the sockets for the eye. Get them as close to balance as you can. All right, once again, his strongest sense is his sense of smell. I'm using the small curved chisel. Don't scrimp on his nose. Bring that up onto the top of the muzzle as well. And I'm going to cut his mouth. Right at the top of the bottom chamfer where the beard terminates. Back till it touches his cheek. Once again, they've got a split upper lip. Goes two thirds of the way up the nose. Use the same chisel to do his nostrils. Now we're going to put in the eyes using a round eye punch located in the socket. I like to rock my eye punch so I know I got good purchase all the way around. I'm going to take my quarter inch fuller. I'm going to bring those brows back down over the eye a little bit. The back of the brow as well. I'm going to give him some eyelashes.
Now on this last heat, I'm going to use a small side set. I'm going to walk around his nose. Make that nose protrude just a little bit. And also I'm going to follow it around up on top here very lightly. And I'm going to take a necking tool. I'm just going to soften any hard edges I see. <laughs> 